day we started big school, I woke up very early. I was too excited to sleep. see our twin swings from in the bathroom window. I love our twin swings. Me too. Do you remember when Dad built the twin swings and he lost all the bolts? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and do you remember we found the bolts and you and Kerry found the frog? Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> oh, no. There's a hole in my pocket. The bolts must have fallen through. Oh, don't worry, Dad. That's a job for us. We'll find them. Good. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Come on, Gary. Oh, sorry, Mummy. Oh, excuse me. Tony and I searched the living room. Come on, Tony. If we don't find all the bolts, then this wind's wings won't get built. Here's one. I found a bolt. I found one too. There's a bolt. Where? Oh, great. Got it. And look, there are two more bolts here in the, the hallway. I've got two and you've got three. That means one, two, three, three four, five, five bolts. Carrie okay, and I found two bolts by the back door and now we're searching in the grass. <gasps> Another bolt! Where? If you touched a frog, please. Okay. Do you think Mummy and Dad are awake yet? No, I think we're the only people awake in our road. <laughs> so quiet, listen. I can hear a cat meowing. Do you think it's Tiger Fluffy Boots? It might be. I hope he's not stuck up in a tree again. Oh no. Do you remember when we had to rescue him? Yes, I remember. So do I. Wow! Even though we're worried about Tiger Fluffy Boots, we can't help getting excited when a fire engine comes down our road and pulls up on our drive. <laughs> One of the firemen is Carson, who is our friend Kerry's dad. He'll rescue Tiger. Oh, I can see the problem. All right, lads, let's get the ladder off the truck. Okay. Right, careful, boys, careful. There you go. Keep going. That's it, yeah. Ladder's pitched. arrives just when Carson is up the ladder rescuing Tiger. Okay. Is that Tiger up there, Mrs Higgly Piggly's cat? Yeah. There you go. Good boy. Yay! <laughs> Here he is. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, boss. 
take him. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks, Carson. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tiger. Tim, I've got an idea. What? Let's get dressed into our school uniforms and surprise Mummy and Dad. Topsy, I don't want to. Please, can you go back to your own room? Okay. Tim? Please, may I take the number five balloon into my room? Oh, okay, but look after it. We want to keep it forever, don't we? Yes. Our birthday party was really good. Yes, it was the best. All our friends came, remember? There's a chair for everyone to sit on at the party table. And lots of food. <laughs> Are you ready for a big surprise? Yes. Yeah. Dinosaurs and butterflies on our cake. Big deep breath. Everyone sang and we blew out our candles. Oh. <laughs> then we played more games and it was time for our friends to go home. Tim, look, I'm getting ready for school. Something. What are you two up to? Topsy couldn't sleep. I'm too excited about going to big school tomorrow. Oh, Topsy. It's far too early for you to get up and put your new school uniform on. I think that you should have another snooze in your own bed with your pyjamas on, OK? OK, Mummy. Good girl. First day of school will be like Topsy. It will be absolutely brilliant. <laughs> night, night, Tim. My night, Topsy. Mm. And it was good. Starting at our new school was amazing. When we got to the school gates, we saw lots of children. Some of our friends from nursery were there. And Andy Anderson. Oh, and Steve Dunton. Hey. Hello, Andy Anderson. We have lots of friends at our new school. Hi, Terry. Welcome, everyone. Now, once I ring this bell, I would like you to say goodbye to whoever brought you to school today and walk nicely into the classroom. It's time to begin your first day at Hatcham Primary School. Are we all ready? Yes! 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 <laughs> Have a lovely day. Be good for Miss Terry. We will. We'll miss you today, Mummy. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mummy. Now listen, Dad and I will be waiting right here, Topsy and Tim, for the end of the school day. And we want to hear all about it. Now, go on. You go and have fun at big school, my twin-tastic Topsy and twin-tabulous Tim. We will! This is our street, it's where we live, so let's all play together, be best friends forever. Our teacher. Kerry said her big brother Jaden got lost the first time he went to big school. I know. I hope we don't get lost inside school today. Come on. Do you think we will? Morning, Topsy and Tim. Are you ready to see your new school today? Yes! No. 
My tummy hurts, Mummy. I don't feel well and I want to stay in bed. Oh. Well, you feel fine to me, not hot at all. I think you're worried about your trip to big school. Come and have breakfast. There you go. I'll have your breakfast on the table in five minutes, OK? Martin! a lovely fruit smoothie for breakfast. I think it'll make you feel better. Mm. It's yummy, Mummy. Oh, good. Oh. Hello, Jean. Okay, hold on. It's Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Yes, I'm really looking forward to it. Bye, love you. Oh, thanks, Topsy. She's still there. Oh, hi, Jean. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll give you a call a bit later. Let you know how it went. OK, bye. Oh. You seem really excited about going to see inside your new school today, Topsy. <laughs> oh, Tim, why aren't you dressed yet? I told you, Mummy. I've got a tummy ache and I want to stay at home today. Tim. You really do feel fine to me, my twin tabulous Tim. Mm hmm? Now, I think that your tummy just feels a little bit wobbly and nervous today because of your school visit. But you know what? If you two stick together today, you'll be fine, OK? <laughs> what if we get lost today, Mummy? In the big school? You won't. Mm -hmm. We can make sure we don't get lost inside big school today. How? I'll show you. Come with me. This will make me feel better. Okay. We can make a trail in big school today. Why? Ah, that's what they did in the story of Hansel and Gretel. Remember? They put little crumbs in their pockets mm -hmm. and then dropped them out one by one. Into the forest. Oh, yes, and they followed the trail of crumbs back out of the forest back home. And when we go into big school today, we are going to make a trail of blocks so we don't get lost. So imagine we're in big school and I've got lost, but I've left a trail of these blocks behind me for you to find me. Okay. Let's try it. Count to 20. Oh, yeah. No peeping. I promise. I'll follow the trail and find you. Seven, eight. <laughs> Nineteen. Twenty. Coming. I'm following the bricks. And I'll find you. over the floor. I'm looking for Topsy. Found you! <laughs> Topsy and Tim, what's going on? There are bricks everywhere. Sorry, Mummy. It's our trail. Your trail? What for? When we go inside big school today, we are going to make a trail of blocks so we don't get lost. Like this. Well, it's a very clever idea, but... It's Topsy's brilliant idea. Well, it's a very clever idea. But I'm sorry, you won't be allowed to leave a trail of bricks around Big School. But we don't want to get lost, Mummy. We're doing what Hansel and Gretel did. Oh, Topsy and Tim. Please don't worry, OK? You are not going to get lost at Big School today. OK? OK. But... Jaden got lost, Kerry told me. <laughs> no, he didn't get lost. He and his mummy, Dominique, got lost on the way to big school. They 
couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know where Big Saw is. We won't get lost. Yes, exactly, you see. And Dominique just phoned to tell me that I'm allowed to visit your new classroom with you. I can go in with you at Big School today. Oh, great! We won't get lost if you're with us, Mummy. Exactly! Now, listen, you need to get dressed and have a slice of toast, OK? OK. How's your tummy feeling? Oh, my tummy's a little bit better, Mummy. Good. Now, we leave in ten minutes, Tim, so hurry up. Go up and get dressed. OK, Mummy. We got to Big School on time. We didn't get lost. And we ran all the way home to telephone Grandma and tell her all about it. Hello, Grandma. It was brilliant. Our teacher's called Miss Terry and she read us a really good story about pirates. Yeah, here you go, Tim. It's your turn. Oh. Hello, Grandma. Good. Oh, we didn't get lost, Grandma. And the school's really big. It's got two playgrounds and two climbing frames. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. Bye, Topsy. Speak to Grandma. Bye, bye, Grandma. I love you. Bye. Yeah, Mummy. Oh, thank you. Thanks. All right. Thank you so much, Jean. Bye. I really like our new teacher, Miss Terry. And that's what Mummy said. You will see Miss Terry again in a couple of days' time. You will see Miss Terry again in a couple of days' time, Topsy and Tim. She told me she's coming to visit us. At our house? Why? Well, it's called a teacher home visit. It's so that you can get to know one another even more. Yes! I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait! <laughs> I really, really want to come right now. And yes! <laughs> Aww. Are you OK, Tim? I wish Tony Welch was coming to our school, Mummy. I know. But he moved house, remember? He's going to a different school. I know that. Do you like Miss Terry, Tim? I don't really know. Mummy, my tummy hurts again. Oh, Tim, are you a bit worried about starting school again? No, I just think I'm really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has been a very busy morning. Come on, let's make some lunch. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, before we visited school, we played a game. Can you remember what Tim followed on the floor to find me? Was it a trail of crumbs? Or was it a trail of bricks? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is a trail of bricks. Watch this. Tim, why are there bricks all over the floor? I'm looking for Topsy. Found you! <laughs> Topsy and Tim, what's going on? There are bricks everywhere. Sorry, Mummy. It's our trail. Your trail? What for? When we go inside Big School today, we are going to make a trail of blocks so we don't get lost. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Enjoy visiting Big School tomorrow, Topsy and Tim. Well, Thanks, Josie. Bye. Thanks for having Josie to play, Joy. Oh, it's Thanks a pleasure. Thanks for having Josie, you're welcome. Bye. 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 Bye Josie. Josie goes everywhere on her bike. She even rides it when she comes to our house. And we live just across the road. And she cycles to school on her bike. When we start big school, I'm going to cycle there every day. Like Josie does. I'm going to go on my scooter. Oh, look, here's Grandma. Of course you can. There you go. 
Right, I'm off for my run. Thank you so much for coming to look after Topsy and Tim for me, Grandma. It's my absolute pleasure. Going in. Oh. Mummy, mm -hmm. when we start school, please can we ride our bikes there every day, just like Josie does? No, I don't want to go on my bike. I want to go on my scooter. Do you know, I hadn't really thought about how we'd get to school yet. Um, I know, why don't we do a test run now? Yeah! Come on my run. Oh, that yeah. sounds like a good idea. I think so. Yeah! Tim, you could go on your scooter and Topsy, you could go on your bike. Great! Yeah! <laughs> we can go to Hatcham Primary School and then back again. Yeah! Come on, let's get your helmets on. Red for Topsy. <laughs> and yellow for Tim. Okay. We set off with Mummy. Grandma stays at home while Mossy sleeps. <laughs> I zoom ahead of my scooter. Not too fast, Tim. Wait for us when you get to the end of the road, please. OK, Mummy! I already know from Josie that I have to stay on the pavement until we reach a cycle path. Keep good on that new bike, Topsy. Again, perfect. Let's go. Grandmother home. Oh, that was quick. Oh, do you want some help? I came back on Topsy's bike, <laughs> and I came back on Tim's scooter. <laughs> Why did you swap? Just for fun, Sorry. and to see which way was easier. And which way did you prefer, Topsy? I prefer my bike. Oh. Bikes are more grown up. What about you, Tim? I like scooting on my scooter. <laughs> scoot, scoot, scoot. <laughs> Scoot, 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 scoot. How was your run, Joy? Yeah, it's great, thanks, Jean. Do you know, when your dad was little, we didn't have all these choices. We just walked to school and that was that. Oh, in fact, I brought something to show you. Grandma has some old photographs in her handbag. Let's have a look. What is it on my laptop? There we go. Oh, it's right, bound it here. It. OK, now I'll put it here. Look, now, this is your dad on his first day at school. What? <laughs> That's Dad? Yes, didn't he look smart in his uniform? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Got a bit of a big sweater on, hasn't he? I can't he? believe Dad ever looked like that. <laughs> you know, you look a lot like him, Tim. Mm. And look. Oh, what's this? What's Mummy got? I've got... What pictures? Some pictures oh. of me in oh. my school uniform oh. on my first day at primary school. Look, you look so <laughs> sweet, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you look lovely. I like your school uniform, oh, Mummy. And I can't wait to see you two in your uniforms on your first day at school. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hello, Mossy Doggy. Mossy. Oh, you're awake at last. Yes. Now, is she ready for a walk, do you think? Yes, yes. she's ready. Good, because I have been thinking, Topsy and Tim, we could try walking to your new school now with Mossy, if you'd like to. Walking? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes! To school? Yes, it'll be fun. Oh, and we can do a shortcut over the old railway footbridge. Oh, yes, oh. the footbridge near where Mr Rosen lives. <gasps> Mr Rosen, we've forgotten all about our promise to Mr Rosen. Oh. Yeah, we promised Mr. Rosen that every day we wave to him before we go to school on the footbridge. So, Tim, we can't go to school on our bikes or our scooters. No. We're going to have to walk <laughs> without our bikes and scooters so we can yes, walk to Mr. Rosen. Over Martin. the footbridge! Yes. And we can wave to him back! Yeah. We can't break our promise, otherwise, Mr. Rosen will be sad. We can be anything if we close our eyes and dream. Be best friends forever. We like the walk to school. Mummy pointed out Mr. Rosen's home from the footbridge, and we all waved. But Mr. Rosen wasn't at his window today. Do you think Mr Rosen will be at his window to wave to us on our first day at school, Mummy? Yes, of course he will. He promised. And Mr Rosen is a good friend who doesn't forget his promises, just like you two. I'm so excited about going to school. Oh, I know. 
How about you, Tim? Half. School looked really big today, Mummy. Yes, Hatching Primary is a big school. Lots of children go there. But I don't think I want to go to big school. You know, I was really worried about starting big school, just like you. But once I got used to it, I really loved it. Really? Yes, I did. And you will love it too. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what Mummy said. Tomorrow you will go inside your new school for the first time. Tomorrow you will go inside your new school for the first time, Topsy and Tim. It's the day of your school visit. You'll meet your teacher and all the other children in your class. I can't wait to go to big school. <laughs> I just don't want to go. Oh, Tim. Once you've seen your new classroom and met your teacher, going to big school will all feel fine. It'll be Come. fine. OK, Mummy. OK. Now, Tim, it's time for you to get tucked up in bed. Night, night, Daddy, Teddy! <laughs> night, night. Good boy. night, Tim! Night, night, Topsy. Night, Mummy. Oh, night, night, my top-tastic Topsy. Good girl. <sighs> Sleep tight. Oh, thank you. Oh, lovely cuddle. Thank you, Topsy. Night, night. night. Your visit to big school will be really good fun tomorrow, Tim. So you need to get a good night's sleep, OK? And that, said Mummy, was that. Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we had a practice school run. But can you remember the colour of Tim's helmets? Was it yellow or green? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is yellow. Watch this. Tim? You could go on your scooter and Topsy, you could go on your bike. Great! Yes! We can go to Hatcham Primary School and then back again. Yeah! Come on, let's get your helmets on. Red for Topsy. <laughs> and yellow for Tim. We set off with Mummy. Grandma stays at home while Mossy sleeps. <laughs> I zoom ahead of my scooter. Not too fast. I already know from Josie that I have to stay on the pavement until we reach a cycle path. OK, wait for me. Let's stop, let's check. Left, right. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Stop! You brushed your teeth for two minutes. Well done. OK. Bit of a quick rinse. Very good. And dry your mouth. Good boy. And dry your mouth. Our dentist is going to love our clean teeth. Wow! Yeah. Yes, they Let's are see. shiny! Oh, wow, they're so bright! Come I on! Well, Tim. Come on! Mummy normally takes us to the dentist, but she's away this week staying with Granny Molly. So Dad is taking us to the dentist today. Now, is there anything else we need to remember before we go to the dentist? Yes! yes. OK! What? Oh, um... We always bring Eddie Teddy and Little Moon Bunny to the dentist with us. Oh, OK. Come on, Topsy. Why do we bring them? Uh, it's a secret. Oh. Hey, Come on, then, let's go. Come on, Little Moon Bunny. Come on, Teddy and you, Dad. Hi, Mr Hotel. Hi, Mrs Barry. Hi. Hello, Topsy and Hello, Tim. Hello, Mrs Barry. Oh, my goodness, haven't you grown? 
Our dentist is called Mrs. Berry. Her assistant is called Kenan. And they have a magic thread that goes up and down. Right, let's get started. OK, Twins, who wants to go first? Me! Me! me. <laughs> yes, of course, on you get toys. You get the first chair, right, right, Kenan? Oh, I see. <laughs> this is why we brought your toys to the dentist. <laughs> the first time we came to the dentist, Mummy let us bring our toys with us. And even though we're big now, Mrs. Berry still lets us bring them every time. OK, come on, toys, open up. Oh, oh my, yes, what do you say? Oh. Right, very good. Oh, very oh. good. Very good, yes. Topsy and Tim, if your teeth are as good as your toys' teeth, you're going to be dazzling me with your smiles. I told you they brush their teeth twice a day. <laughs> Who's next, then? Who's next? Me, me! me. OK, Tim, it's your turn next. OK, can we have the chair down, please, Karen? Oh, 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 oh. Now, Tim, you know what to do. Open wide and say... Oh, oh. Oh. OK, let's have a look. Uh. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, yes. You've been brushing very, very well. Now... I hope you haven't been eating too many sweets or fizzy drinks. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, we haven't. Good, that's great. Well, if you do, just make sure on those days that you brush your teeth extra well at bedtime. Tim, you have excellent teeth. Topsy, you're next, please. Yes! OK. <laughs> right, Topsy, let's see how you've been doing then. Hi, Here we go! Beep, 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 beep. That's right. OK, let's have a look at yours. Have you been eating lots of chocolate? No. And honestly? <laughs> OK, now, Topsy, you know what to do. Open wide and say... Uh, oh, yeah. All right, you can stop now. Let's have a look. Wow, now you have been brushing your teeth very well too. That's great. You have excellent teeth too, Topsy. Well done. Well done. Thanks, Kenan. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, Topsy and Tim, in about a year or so, you are going to lose your teeth. They're going to start wobbling, ready to come out. Why will they wobble? Oh, it's OK, it's nothing, it's nothing to worry about at all. Basically, all your milk teeth fall out one by one, OK? And then what happens is that gives you time for your big teeth to grow in their place instead, doesn't it, Dad? Yeah, exciting, new teeth. Yeah. Have you got any friends that are a little bit older than you? No. No. Yes, you have, twins. You've got a friend called Josie Miller who's nearly six. Oh, yes, Josie! Ah, well, you see, Topsy and Tim, losing your milk teeth actually can be quite fun. And I think that you should ask her to tell you all about the tooth fairy. What's the tooth fairy? Oh, I, I think you'll like to hear about the tooth fairy. <laughs> we can ask Josie about the tooth fairy on the way home. Great. OK, Dad. On the way home from the dentist, Dad lets us call for Josie and she comes to play. And guess what? Josie has a wobbly tooth. It's my first milk tooth that's ready to come out. Look, it's really wobbly. Oh, it looks all strange. <laughs> Through to the kitchen, please, you guys. OK. Josie, yeah? do you know about the tooth fairy? Yes, my mum says when my tooth comes out, I have to put it under my pillow at bedtime for the tooth fairy. Why? Why? The tooth fairy will come when I'm asleep and she'll take my tooth. She leaves a coin. Whoa! What does the tooth fairy do with your tooth? She uses it to build a castle, I think. Oh, cool. Wow. What does the tooth fairy look like? My mum and dad says nobody has ever seen the Tooth Fairy. I want to see the Tooth Fairy. So do I. We asked Josie lots more questions about the Tooth Fairy until it was time for her to go home and time for our bedtime. Night, night, Topsy. See you in the morning. Hello. Hello. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. Sleep tight, Tim. No, Dad. No, no. Topsy and I have a secret code. If one of us knocks on the wall three times, the other one has to come through. chattering teeth under my pillow and I'm going to stay awake all night and wait for the tooth fairy to come and get them. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm going to get the other teeth. I want to do it too. Topsy and Tim, what's going on? What's going on? What have you got under your pillow, Topsy? Chattering tea. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I want the tooth fairy to come and collect them. <laughs> and that's when Dad says, The tooth fairy is far too clever to fall for a trick like that. The tooth fairy is far too clever to fall for a trick like that, Topsy and Tim. The tooth fairy will only come when there are proper milk teeth to collect. Wait until my teeth fall out so I can see her. Nor can I. I can't wait to see the tooth fairy. I can't get to sleep. OK, well, I want you both to try very hard to sleep so I can tell Mummy how good you're being while she's away. OK? OK. OK, come here. <laughs> Let's get you back to your own room, please, Tim. And that, said Dad, was What's that? that? Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, after our trip to the dentist, we looked at our friend's wobbly tooth. Can you remember who had the wobbly tooth? Was it Kerry or was it Josie? The answer is fine, Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is Josie. Watch this. So please show us your wobbly tooth now, Josie. It's my first milk tooth that's ready to come out. Look, it's really wobbly. Oh, this looks all strange. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Coming up, just a little bit of step, go down the Where are we going? When can we look? No peeking, eyes tight shut. We're five today. Yeah. Are you peeking? No. <laughs> Mummy and Dad have a surprise birthday present for us in the garden. Double, double, triple, <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Topsy and Tim, you can open your eyes now. Happy birthday! A house! <laughs> a playhouse! <laughs> Thank you! Whoa! Do you like your playhouse, twins? Yes! And look at the front door. This house belongs to... Ta and Ta. What top is he and Tim? This is the best birthday present ever! <laughs> Thank you! Hello! <laughs> I can't wait to show Tony Welch our new playhouse. Well, you'll be able to at your party later. Yay! <laughs> it's a birthday! We're having a party! <laughs> We're going to play musical chairs at our party and it's our job to find enough chairs. I find the chair in the porch that we sit on to take off our muddy shoes. Topsy! I find Mummy's spinning office chair. <laughs> Everyone's going to want this spinning chair. <laughs> Look what I found! We 
can use this as a chair. <laughs> yeah. Well, and this one. Yeah. I'll get it. He's here. Hi, come in. Happy birthday, Dr. Tree. <laughs> two chairs and two presents. Thank you. Well, thank you. Can we open them now? No presents on the table for me, please, Topsy and Tim, because we're opening the presents after the party, remember? <laughs> Thank you so much for the extra chairs, Dominique. But we still need more chairs for the party. Yeah. Yeah. We're playing musical chairs. <laughs> yes, we are. Thank you. We play musical spinning chair while we wait for our party to begin. <laughs> oh, okay. Where's mummy? Is it Tony? Um, no, it's Mr. Fenton next door. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fenton. Hello, Come Joy. In. Hello, Mr. Happy birthday, Tim. <laughs> Happy birthday, Topsy. <laughs> Is this a spinning chair, Mr. Fenton? Yes, I got an urgent message. You needed more chairs for your party. Huh? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So is this going to be your chair for the party table? No. I think my friend Tony Welch would like this spinning chair best. Ah. <laughs> Lovely. You take it in there, Tim. Good boy. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Fenton. Right. See you later. Bye. Bye. Soon, we have enough chairs for all our friends. But we need two more for us. Someone give me a hand, please. Oh. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> two more chairs for the birthday girl and boy. Can you give me a hand, please, Sops? I'll help. Now we are ready for the party. And just in time. Topsy and Tim, your guest is here. Tony! <laughs> Happy birthday, twins. Oh, Tony, I'll take those. Thank you. In you go. Happy birthday, Topsy. Hello. Once everyone's arrived, we play our musical chairs game. Who's ready to play musical chairs? Me! <laughs> wins the musical chairs prize and you get your special <laughs> prize everybody the winner <laughs> everybody smile again or say cheers there's a chair for everyone to sit on at the party table and lots of food <laughs> Ready for a big surprise. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's a dino butterfly cake. <laughs> <laughs> there are dinosaurs and butterflies on our cake. Big deep breath. Everyone sang and we blew out our candles. <laughs> Then we played more games, and it was time for our friends to go home. There you go. Thank you, Thank you for much. coming. Thank okay, you I'll see you again. Before Tony Welch goes home, I take him out to the garden to show him our new birthday presents. I can see my dad! Hi, Dad! Happy birthday, Tim. Nice house. Thanks. Tony can come and play in it all the time. Please, Dad. Please, Mr Welch. We won't be at the same school, but we will still be best friends. And that's when Mr Welch said, Tony can come and play as often as he likes. Tony can come and play as often as he likes, Topsy and Tim, as long as your mummy and dad say it's OK. 
Yes, of course it is. <laughs> In fact, why don't I put another T just here? So that would be... That would be, um... Tough for Topsy and Tough for Tim and Tough for Tony, yes! Yay. Yes! The house can belong to all three of us, Tony! Yes, yes, I know! I know! In here! In here, guys! <laughs> Come on, Tony. It's time to go. Come on. Oh, thanks for inviting me to the party. Happy birthday, Topsy. Happy birthday, Tim. Don't forget your party bag, Tony. Good luck at your new school. Tony will be back to play before you know it. <laughs> Come up here, Mummy. Yeah. And that, said Mummy, was, was that. that. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today was our birthday party. Can you remember who won the game of musical chairs? Was it Tony Welch or was it Andy Anderson? The answer is behind Wiggles the Rabbit. Look, the answer is Tony Welch. Watch this. Only three chairs left. Oh, oh, it's a bit of a squash. <laughs> Tony Welch wins the musical chairs prize. And you get your special <laughs> prize. Everybody, the winner! Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Wow. Who is it next to me, Tim? I just woke up and she was there. Soft and friendly. Listen, she's purring. Huh. We need to think of a name. What should we call her? Mrs. Fluffy Boots. <laughs> Mrs. Fluffy Boots. That's funny. <laughs> Poor Mrs. Fluffy Boots. Are you lost? Topsy. Do you think Bobby will let us keep her? I don't know. I'll go and ask Mummy. And I'll carry on stroking her. Mummy, Mummy! Good morning, Tim. You've got to come upstairs, quick! What? What is it? Please come, Mummy! Why? What is it? Come. All right, OK. <laughs> All right, I'm going, I'm going. Go on. Come, Come. When Mummy meets Mrs. Fluffy Boots, she likes her just as much as we do. Oh, you are a lovely girl. So, we ask if we can keep her. Pleasey, pleasey, double, please. Can we keep Mrs. Fluffy Boots, Mummy? Please. Oh, I'm sorry, Topsy and Tim. You can't. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. She belongs to somebody else. Look at this lovely collar. She's very well cared for. So, you mean someone has lost her? Yes, and imagine how you'd feel if you lost Wiggles the rabbit. I'd be very sad. Mm -hmm. So would I. Well, Mrs Fluffy Boots' owner is probably looking for her right now. We've got to help them find her! But how will they know she's here? 
I've got an idea. We could take a photograph of Mrs. Fluffy Boots and show all the people down our road the picture. Yes, to see if they know her owner. That's a brilliant idea. Please, can we take the photograph with your mobile phone, Mummy? Yes, you can, but after breakfast. Now, let's go and give Mrs. Fluffy Boots a saucer of milk. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. Fluffy Boots. We'll find your owner. After breakfast, we get dressed and I take a photo of Mrs. Fluffy Boots with Mummy's mobile phone. Okay, <laughs> and press that button there. OK. Say nice, Mrs. Fluffy Boots. Nice. nice. <laughs> oh, look! Oh, that's a lovely photograph, Topsy. Come on, let's get it printed. <laughs> yes! Mummy, Topsy, let's go, come on. Here's the printed photograph, Tim. Look, you can carry it. Oh, yes, it's great. Someone would know who owns this cat. Come on, Topsy, let's go. Coming! <laughs> Come on, Topsy. Okay, oh, good. We crossed the road safely with Mummy. Okay. Let's look left. Right. Left again. Are we clear? Yeah. Let's go. <gasps> look, there's Tracy Miller. Hi, Josie. Hello. Hi, Topsy and Tim. Hi. Why have you got that big plaster on your forehead? Josie. It's because I fell off my bike. <laughs> yeah. We tell Josie Miller and her mum about Mrs. Fluffy Boots. Um, but they don't know who owns the cat. No, sorry. Mr. Fen might know who that cat belongs to. Why don't you go and ask him? Okay. Oh, hey, Mr. Fen! Mr. Fen, Mr. Fen! <laughs> we ask Mr. Fen if he knows who the cat belongs to. Do you know who this cat belongs oh. to? But Mr. Fen doesn't know who owns Mrs. Fluffy Boots either. I'm afraid I don't at all. Mind you, I've got an idea who might know. Why don't you try Jamie the postman? Yeah, he might be able to help. <gasps> Jamie! <laughs> yeah. Jamie, Jamie! Jamie! Get on the paper, please, you two. OK, Mummy. Please, Jamie, do you know who this cat belongs to? Ooh. No, sorry. Thanks, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thank Jamie. you. Bye. We're never going to find Mrs Fluffy Boots owner. Tell you what, why don't we have a break and have some lunch and then we can come back and look for Mrs Fluffy Boots only this afternoon, OK? OK. It'll be all right. Mm. Thanks. We all had salmon for lunch. And Mrs Fluffy Boots drank water from one of Mossy's dog bowls. You're happy in our house, aren't you, Mrs Fluffy Boots? <laughs> I wish you could stay forever. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's at the door. I'll get it. Oh, hello. Hello. Is this where Topsy and Tim live? Yes. <sighs> yes, we're Topsy and Tim. Oh, well, I'm sorry to bother you, but I think you may have found my cat. Mm. I'm Mrs Higgly Piggly, and I live in... The lady says she lives at the end of our road. And her name is Mrs Higgly Piggly. Ah, oh, look, there you are. How lovely to see you. Isn't Jamie the postman marvellous? He said if you've lost your cat, go and knock on the door of Topsy and Tim, and here I am. We will miss you, Mrs Fluffy Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Fluffy Boots? Is that what you call him? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, Topsy, but Mrs Fluffy Boots isn't a missus, it's a mister. He's a boy. Oh, oh yes. A boy? Yes. Oh, even better. And his name is Tiger. <gasps> Tiger! Hello, Tiger. Hello, Tiger Fluffy Boots. <laughs> Tiger Fluffy Boots. Oh, that's splendid. I shall call you Tiger Fluffy Boots from now on. <laughs> Come on, let's get the Tiger Fluffy Boots back in his carriage. Oh, yes. Here we Come go. On. Now you know where Come you on, live. Tiger. There we go. Oh, and that's when Mrs Higgly Piggly said, Please come and have tea with us very soon. Please come and have tea with us very soon, Topsy and Tim. Oh, yes, come we, Mummy, come, come we, come we. Yes, of course you can. Thank you, Mrs Higgly Piggly. Oh, thank you. Now, off we, we go. go. Oh, that's... Will you? Oh, thank, thank you very you much. Too. I'll open the door. Oh, bye-bye. 
bye bye, darling. Let me take him now. Oh, yes. hmm? Got him. Heavy, isn't he? <laughs> yes. Bye bye, Topsy and Tim. And thank you again. And that said, Mrs. Higgly Piggly, was that? Bye bye. Bye -bye. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we found a lost cat. But can you remember what we used to take a photo of the cat? Was it Mummy's mobile phone? Or was it Dad's pocket camera? The answer is behind Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is Mummy's mobile phone. Watch this. <laughs> yes, please, can we take the photograph with your mobile phone, Mummy? Yes, you can, but after breakfast. Now, let's go and give Mrs Fluffy Boots a saucer of milk. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs Fluffy Boots, we'll find your owner. See you later. After breakfast, we get dressed. And I take a photo of Mrs Fluffy Boots with Mummy's mobile phone. Okay, press that button there. OK. Say nice, Mrs Fluffy Boots. Nice. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, that's a lovely photograph, Topsy. Come on, let's get it printed. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Topsy, let's go. Come on. Here's the printed photograph, Tim. Look, we can carry it. Oh, yes. It's great. Someone would know who owns this cat. Come on, Topsy, let's go. Coming. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Hi, Mossy. Hi, Mossy. Come in, Mum. Oh, I love you. Here. Oh, where's Mossy's ball? Where'd she go? Mummy's away this week, and Dad's going to play football. So Grandma's doing our bedtime. Now, where's my hello Grandma Huggle Twins? <laughs> Wee! Wee! I'm off now, you two. Bye, bye Dad. Oh, bye. Have lots, Yay! Have lots <laughs> of fun with Grandma. Yay! <laughs> Mossy. And I'll get them ready for bed. Thanks, Mossy. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Bye. Dad. bye. <laughs> bye. bye. Right, you two. Bath time. But it's not bath time yet, Grandma. No. I know. But I'd like you to help me wash Mossy the dog. Oh, oh yeah! Yes. Would you like to do that sort of bath time? Yes, please! I can't wait to get things ready for Mossy's bath. Here's our bubble bath. For Mossy's bath. Oh, that's a nice idea, Tim. But Mossy has a shower, not a bath. And she has her own special doggy shampoo look. Oh, yes. And she has her own doggy towel. <laughs> it's got a dog in it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I need to test the water, Mossy. She likes it not too hot and not too cold. I think this is a good temperature. Try it. Yeah, not too hot, not too cold. <laughs> in fact, it's, it's just tickles. right, isn't it? It's just right. It tickles. That's good. Well, I think we need to get Mossy into the bath. Mossy, come on. She can... Mossy can use our bath step. Like this. And then Mossy climbs into the bath. That is a great idea, Tim. But I need to lift Mossy into the bath myself so she doesn't hurt herself. So can you just put the step back? OK. Thank <laughs> you. Topsy, you can bring Mossy up for her wash now. Topsy! She's in. <laughs> now it's time for her doggy wash. Here we go. So, uh, Grandma gets Mossy's fur wet and we get ready to clean her. Yes, that's uh, it's wet. like jelly. Can we start? You can. Bubbly? Yep, start. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. That's it on her body. Bubbly, that's bubbly. Right. Bubbly, bubbly, bubble, bubble. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Tim. Look at this. 
It's a good idea, but Mossy can't play with your bath toys because she might chew them. I know. Hmm? She needs a dog toy. I'll be back in a minute for a mouth. Okay. You can do her legs a little bit. Mossy likes to play with her ball, so I go and get it. There we go. In it goes. Uh, pull up. Come on, I'm all wet. Oh, oh you are. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Now, I tell you what I think we should do. I think the time has come, OK? I'm going to wash Mossy's head and then we can rinse her off. OK. OK. Once Mossy is soapy all over, Topsy rinses her with the shower water. Mossy isn't used to showers like we are. You need to be gentle. Mossy's bath time isn't the same as our bath time, is it, Grandma? <laughs> no. Well done. Well, Topsy and Tim shall soon be squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. <laughs> squeak, 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 that's probably enough now. Ooh. to get Mossy out now, don't you? Yes. Right. Come on, stand over here, Tim. There we go. I'm yeah. soaked. When Mossy gets out, it's time to dry her off with her special towel. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've got it all wet, Mossy. Oh. We did, didn't we? She's a good girl, though. Oh, well done, Mossy. Mm. No, well done. Well done. Clear up before Dad gets back. Hmm? Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you. I got nothing more. Before we go up to bed, it's time for one last cuddle with Mossy. Oh, you smell nice and clean, Mossy. Oh, lovely Mossy. <gasps> Dad! Daddy's home! Hello, Dad. Topsy and Tim. Hey. Did you have fun? Yes. yes! We had the best bath time ever, Dad. I didn't think it was bath night. No, we didn't have the bath, Dad. Mossy did. Ah. You need a bath, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Football <laughs> mud. <laughs> You're going to run yourself a bath, Brian, before you read the twins their bedtime stories. OK. Tell you what, Topsy, you can both pick a story tonight. What story do you want? Um. Uh. I miss Mummy's bedtime stories. I expect you do too. Yes, I do. I miss Mummy most of all at bedtime. Yeah, we all miss her. But there are only two more bedtimes until she comes home. Yay! Yay! I love Mummy and I love you, Dad. Oh, thank you. A hug always helps, doesn't it? Yeah. And a hug all. <coughs> oh! <laughs> Do you know, I think Mossy wants a squeezy hug too. Yes! <laughs> Mossy! Squeeze! <laughs> well done, Mossy. You know, thanks to you two, Mossy's had the best day ever. <laughs> thanks, Grandma. <laughs> and, and that said, Grandma, was that? <laughs> Good at remembering. 
Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we helped Grandma wash Mossy. Can you remember which toy Tim brought upstairs for Mossy's bath time? Was it a ball? Or was it a squeaky bone? The answer is behind Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is a ball. Watch this. Mossy's enjoying her wash. <laughs> so I know it will make it even better. Oh. Bath toys! Oh, ah, now, wait a minute, Tim. Actually, that is a good idea, but... Mossy can't play with your bath toys because she might chew them. I know. Hmm? She needs a dog toy. I'll be back in a minute, Grandma. OK. You can do her legs a little bit. Mossy likes to play with her ball, so I go and get it. There we go. In it goes. Uh, oh, oh, I'm all so wet. oh, you are. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. When we start big school, Miss Terry will be our teacher. We met her when we went to visit our new school. And today, she's coming to our house. What are you doing, Topsy? I want Miss Terry to see all of my cuddly toys. Topsy, what's that on your hands? Oh, I was helping Tim paint his spaceship. Sorry, Mummy. No, it's all right. Don't worry, I'll just get a cloth. Is Tim painting too? Yes, I think so. Give me your hands, please, Topsy. You need to be clean to meet your new teacher. Tim, where are you? Oh, look at you. Let me wipe your face and hands. You need to be clean for Miss Terry and she'll be here soon. Why is Miss Terry coming to our house? Well, teachers need to meet all new school children before their first day. Helps you get to know each other. Your hands are nearly done, thank you. I want to play in my space rocket. Well, you can play in your space rocket later, Tim. But please, come downstairs now. Be polite. Meet your new teacher. Oh, the aliens are about to attack. Mummy! I'm coming, Topsy! Come on, Mummy! Hi, I'm Caroline Terry. We met when you visited the school. This is my teaching assistant, Miss Best. Hello! Hello, pleased to meet you. I'm Joy, and this is Topsy. Hi, Topsy. Hello, Miss Terry. Hi, Topsy. I remember you. <laughs> Hello, Topsy. <laughs> Hello, Miss Best. Oh, where's Tim? He's upstairs in the space rocket. <laughs> he doesn't want to come down yet. Sorry, but please come in. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. <laughs> yes, come and see my toys, Miss oh, Terry and Miss Best. Love to. They're in here. Look. Aww. This is Little Moon Bunny. Hello. This is Frederick. Hello. Hello, Hello Frederick. Oh, I'll put the kettle on. Thank you. Okay, make a cup of tea. This is Dr Sausage Dog. Oh, hello, Dr Sausage. Oh, dear. Oh, poor thing. He's hurt his leg. Yes, his other normal leg is upstairs. Oh. In my bed, sad. Would you like to come and see? Yes, I would. Come on. <laughs> Mrs O'Dell, is it OK if we go upstairs with Topsy? Yes, of course. You'll find Tim in his bedroom up there, too. Yeah, okay. come on. Okay. Oh, I see. Very good. Lots of equipment there, haven't you? Yeah. Hmm. Look, this is Dr. Sausage, Dr. Sausage Dog's yes. other leg. Oh. This is how I make him better. I see. Oh, look, that's clever. Actually, there's someone in my bag who needs a vet's checkup, Topsy. This is Mr. Honeybear, our class teddy. Would you make him better, please? Yes. Oh, poor honey bear. I'm going to put a plaster on your paw. Oh, that's kind of you. 
like this. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Oh, lovely. Thank you. I think I'll take him to say hello to Tim. Yes? OK, Tim's in the room next to mine. Oh, thanks, Topsy. Miss Bess, could you please find a sticker each for Topsy and Tim? Of course, they're in my folder downstairs. Well, sure. Tim? Hello. May I come in? I brought our class teddy, Mr Honeybear, to say hello. This is Eddie Teddy. Oh, hello, Eddie Teddy. Let's shake paws. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Well, I love this super space rocket. My goodness, you know, um, our class had a special space week last term. Oh. Mm. We um, made planets and rockets to hang from the ceiling and alien masks to wear. Oh, I love to wear an alien mask. Do you? Well, that's good because I brought some along to show you. Come and have a look. Oh, yeah. They look funny. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> alien masks. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Should we try them on? <laughs> yes. yes. Which one would you like to try on, Tim? I'll wear this one. All right. What about you, Topsy? This one, please. Oh, oh this I like the googly good. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you. Oh. There we go. Let's go downstairs and show Mummy. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Topsy and I put on an alien mask. So does Miss Terry. Mummy, we're funny oh. and scary aliens. And Tim says he's ready to come downstairs now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you certainly are. <laughs> oh. Come on, I've got some special space drinks for you all in the kitchen. Tim meets Miss Best and we drink our alien apple juice. Then Miss Best gives us both a sticker. Right then, I have got some stickers for you. <laughs> so there we go, one for you. Thank you, it's a bunny rabbit. Oh. And there's one for Tim as well. There you go. Oh, mine's just a boring old umbrella. Actually, your rabbit sticker and your umbrella sticker are very important, Topsy and Tim. Miss Best is going to post a rabbit sticker and an umbrella sticker just like those on your pegs at school. And on your first day, you'll know where to put your bag and coat. Thank you. I love my bunny rabbit oh, sticker. Oh, good. It makes me think of our rabbit, Wiggles. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Terry. Thank You're you, Miss Best. You're very welcome. I think... My umbrella stick is OK. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's right! Oh. Put your mask on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness! Where did these masks come from? Our teacher, Miss Terry, and our teaching assistant, Miss Bester, here. Oh! <laughs> come see them, Dad. Go yeah, yeah. them with them. OK, let's go, Tim. Hi, Hi, I'm Brian. Sorry I'm late. Oh, not to worry. Nice to meet you. Oh, dear. Sorry. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Oh. Car nice disaster. Mummy, where's the cloth? That needs a wash. <laughs> oh, dear. There you go. Go clean them off. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Dad, you have to be clean for Miss Terry. <laughs> Mummy told me that. Thank you, Topsy. Now, Topsy and Tim, do you have any more questions you'd like to ask me about school? Yes. Will Tim and I be able to sit together on our first day? Yes, of course. Actually, all 30 children in my class sit together on the carpet. Um, but how will we get to know all the children's names? Oh, you will. We'll play lots of name games. You'll be fine. Now, we have lots more children we have to visit today in their homes, and I think they might like to see the alien masks too. So please, may I have them back? Lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. We've really enjoyed our visit. Oh, well, thank you for coming, Miss Terry and Miss Best. <laughs> and we will see you, Topsy and Tim, next week for your first day at school. Yes, you <laughs> will. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thanks. And that's when Dad says, and by then, you will both be five years old. <laughs> and by then, you will both be five years old. It's your birthday, remember? Oh, yes, we're having a party this weekend! <laughs> <laughs> now have great fun at your party and tell me all about it at school, won't you? And that, said Miss Terry, 
is behind Wiggles the rabbit. Look, the answer is alien masks. Watch this. See you soon. Shoes on, please, Topsy and Tim. Yes, Mummy. Tony Welch's dad is coming with us to nursery school today. He's going to take a photo of us all on our last day. Oh, Tony Welch. Hi, Paul. Hi, Tony. Come on in. Hi, Joy. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mrs. Odo. Oh, hi. hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. hi, Mr. Welch. Hello, Topsy. Why are you wearing your football kit, Tony? Because I want to for the photo. <laughs> What's that? Well, this is a tripod. It makes my camera nice and steady so I can take a really good picture of all of you. We made a biscuit for you. Oh. We made one because we wanted to thank you for taking our picture today. That's very nice of you. Look at this. Oh. It's shaped like the sun because we hoped it would be sunny for our nursery school photo today. Oh. I hope so too. Let me have a try. Mmm. Oh, Very nice. Here you go, you pop it on. Okay. Let's play cat! Just kiss me, Tony. Now to me, Topsy. Oh, it's Miss Maypole. Hello. Oh. Come on, Tim. No, no, we were just about to leave. Oh. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, well, thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I'll tell everyone here. Okay, thank you, Miss Maypole. Bye. What did Miss Maple say, Mummy? She said that they've found a wasp's nest in the roof of the nursery school building. Wow! Well, cool. And she's very sorry, but Tillywink's nursery school will be closed today. Oh, Bye. that's a shame. Bye. Well, if you find a wasp's nest in a building, you can't let children go in and play there. Miss Maple needs to keep the nursery as safe as possible. Mm, of course. But it was our last day of nursery school today. Oh. And now my dad can't take our class photo. It's not fair. I know. Tony, you could stay here and play with us. Yes, we can have the last day of nursery school at yeah. our house. <laughs> and if you got all your nursery class round, then I can still take this picture of you. <gasps> yes! Come on, Mummy. Please, double, <laughs> please. <laughs> I think that is a brilliant idea, Topsy and Tim. I'll call Miss Maple straight away and ask her to invite everyone here for the last day of nursery school. Yes! <laughs> Miss Maple says yes. She loves us to hold nursery school at our house. Everyone's here. You ready? And she arrives with all our friends. And we do circle time as usual. OK, Topsy, why don't you stand up? Have a think about it and tell everyone what makes you really happy at nursery school. What makes me happy at nursery school is... Playing with all my friends. Oh, yeah. that's lovely. Thank you very much, Topsy. OK, Kerry, your turn. Stand up and tell us what makes you happy. What makes me happy at nursery school? I love story time about... Funny animals who can talk. Oh, I like those too, Kerry. Thank you very much. Um, your turn now, Tim. What makes me happy about nursery school is... snack time. <laughs> <laughs> we all like snack time, don't we? Well, if we're very lucky, maybe we'll have snack time soon. Well, if Miss Maypole agrees, 
We could have snack time now. <gasps> what yes, do you think? Please. Yes, 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 please. Thank you very much. I wonder what we're going to have today. Very special treat from Topsy and Tim's mummy. Topsy and Tim have made you all biscuits. Oh. A biscuit. All our friends take a biscuit each. Then there's just the smiley biscuit left. It's Miss Maple's special biscuit. This is for you. The smiley face biscuit. It's beautiful, thank you so much. It's smiley just like just like you. Oh, thank you very much, Topsy and Tim. Mmm. Okay, who'd like a drink? Me! Oh, lovely. What are we going to do after we've had our drinks and biscuits, Miss Maple? Well, if we're very good and finish our snack time, I've got a very special idea. Hold Here we go. Hold it nice and tight. There you go. Miss Maple wants us to make a big handprint picture in the kitchen. Mummy finds some paper and we get our paints out. Topsy goes first. of all of our handprints. Oh, Lovely, good girl. Look at my hands, Mum. Made them all clean now. Perfect and clean. Go on, show Miss Maple. Oh, let's see. Miss Maple, I wash my hands. Sparkling, perfect. You can come and help go me on, take this out to the garden. Go. Off you go, Vinda. Go and wash the your garden. hands. The garden. The garden. Why the garden? Because Tony's dad is going to take a special class photograph for us out in the garden. Yay! Really carefully, Topsy. Brilliant. You ready for the photograph? We get ready to have our photo taken on the patio. Come on, everyone, quickly, quickly. That's it, make sure we all get on. That's... Come on, underneath, that's it. Everyone peep their heads over. We all got our hands on it. Fantastic. OK, well, that'll be perfect. OK, I am ready when you are. Dad, take the photo yet, Dad. Tim's still washing his hands. Don't worry, Tony. Tim will be on the photograph. You all will be. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. Now we are all ready for our nursery school photo. I'm ready. Thank you, Topsy and Tim, and your mummy too, for inviting us all to spend the last day of nursery school here. You've been such a special class, and I wish you all a very happy time at big school. Now, everyone, look at the camera, and let's say Tiddly Wings! Tiddly Wings! Oh, look, that's perfect. Oh, it's lovely. OK, let's do some more. Right, everyone say Tiddly Wings again. Here we go. On three, one, Ready, two, everyone? three. After everyone has gone home, Tony's dad shows us the photos. I like that one where we're all pulling funny faces. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good one, isn't it? I liked having the last day of nursery school at our house. I feel sad that we're never going to go to Tiddlywinks Nursery School again. Oh, but you'll feel happy when you all go to big school together. Yes! <laughs> I can't wait till I go to Hatcham Primary School with all of my friends. Oh, look at that one. That's a really good one. And that's when Tony said, I'm not going to Hatcham Primary School with you. I'm not going to Hatcham Primary School with you, Topsy and Tim. Why? Why? Um, I'm moving house, so I'll, go, I'll be going to a different big school, won't I, Dad? Yes, that's right, Tony. Our new house is too far away from Hatcham Primary School, so we're going to take Tony to a different school instead. It's not fair. I know you feel sad, but we'll still see Tony lots. We'll make sure of it, won't we, Paul? Yes, of course, I promise. At the weekends? Mm -hmm. In school holidays? <laughs> Forever! <laughs> 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 Let's dance! You never, really, never, really, never! You really are yes, great yes, friends. Yes, 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 yes. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Remembering. Yes. 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 Yes
saying, Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play! <laughs> today, all our friends from nursery school came round. Can you remember what Tony Welch was wearing? Was it his football kit or was it his new school uniform? The answer is behind the jigsaw piece. Look, the answer is his football kit. Watch this. Hi, Joy. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello, Hello Mrs Odo. Hi, Hi Tony. Hi, Hi, Mr Welch. Hello, Topsy. Why are you dressed in your football kit, Tony? Because I want to for the photo. <laughs> Great game. That was good fun. See you soon.